In just a few hours, it'll be 20 years since the Twin Towers fell in New York City. And tonight we are taking a look back. So you might remember this video showing then President George W. Bush sitting in an elementary school classroom as a staff member comes to whisper in his ear that America was under attack. And there you see his reaction. We're getting a firsthand account of what it was like to be in that room in Sarasota, Florida on the morning of September 11th, 2001, as the president of the United States learned this horrific news. Here's our own Bill McGinty with that story. Terry Abbott, the man you're about to hear from, was the chief of staff to the Secretary of Education back in 2001. That man's name was Rod Page. They were all traveling with President George W. Bush that morning. When everyone knew the same thing, we're under attack. What was the mood like inside the school? When we, we, you know, we have the visual of the president getting mm -hmm. the word in his ear. Yes. What, what was the mood like in the rest of the school, the, the places we didn't get to see? You know, it's interesting. Um, when we first got there, it was festive. Uh, everybody was excited about having the president there. The kids were ready to show talk, to show him their reading abilities. Everyone who's gathered in the library for the big group were all anxious to see him and to hear from him. And the kids were anxious to interact with him there. Um, and uh, it changed the moment that word came about the, the second plane hitting. What was the Secret Service doing at this point? I, I imagine when, when word of this starts to sink in, they think, my gosh, this president and, and this school could be a target. Absolutely. The Secret Service knew that the first thing they had to do was get him out of there quickly, get the president out of there, because they thought, and we all thought at the point at that time, that the school might be targeted, that might be next, because his, his itinerary was published well ahead of time. I was with Secretary Page. He finished the event there for the president. And then I ran him out of there because all of the cabinet secretaries are in line of succession to the presidency. And we didn't know if the entire government was being attacked. So I told the local sheriff's deputies, we've got to get this man to safety and out of here. Then we got word the next morning that there was a C-130 back down in Sarasota that we could get on and fly back to Quantico, Virginia to get back into Washington. And so... That next morning, we got on the C-130 and flew to Quantico. We were the only plane in the sky. You know, all the other aircraft have been grounded. And I remember telling Secretary Page, you know, I hope that the military knows that we're up here and that we're supposed to be up here. Because I had visions of a missile coming out of the ground and blowing us out of the sky. That cargo plane they were on landed safely amid fighter jet cover in the D.C. area. He says it was surreal. He says that heavy feeling that we all felt that day and days after has welled up on him every year since. Gus? Uh, what a story. And thank you to Bill for that report.